of medium today, um, or this week if this video is out late. Um, what's the what's the tool that we've all been waiting for? Yeah, you guessed it. Move tool. So what we've got now is the tool that everyone has been waiting for, really. Um, probably the most requested uh, thing I've seen on any of the forums. Um, you've got, I've done it in a couple of videos now, but the options that you've got are all available here. So same as any other tool on the gear icon. So I'm left-handed, by the way, so you might see it reverse to the way you use it if you're right-handed. So move to. We've got size, inner radius, which we're about to explore. And for most things, I would keep it off completely. And then strength, which I'm leaving all the way up. And active layers, which we'll, we'll use when we get further in. So with um, with inner radius, let's just go all the way up. And I'll show you what we can use it for here. So I've gone a little bit too high there. Made my brush huge, which is good and bad. So, because I'm using the radius set like this, be careful. Careful of doing what I just did then. It's pulling it out too far. But as you move it now, it's it's leaving. It's doing it in a hard-edged fashion. So it's almost it's basically adding geometry. So as we pull out, and you can see it's a great way to to add. out like so pushing in as well but so it's not something I would be I would be inclined to do. Um, if you're roughing out that's that's one way to use it but what I would suggest you do is for most jobs is keep it either uh, middle to low and then use it like um, like a, like a, like it is a, a move and a pull tool without pulling with that edge and that makes it a lot easier for certain certain tasks um, and then use this feature which is hold the trigger forward and you've got rotate which now makes the posing of things really powerful so you can see how quickly I reshape that without having to go back to the clay tool all the time and I find that the better way to use it and because it's voxels what it's doing is it's writing that new geometry behind it um, so you're not pulling and stretching as you are with sub D uh, subdivision modeling what you're doing is as you pull that down it's backfilling behind it um, based on the resolution of the of the model you're currently at which is so useful so let's just um, and see I'm twisting now twisting round pulling up twisting round one good tool to use that you may not use as much as well, not use much at all is the inflate tool. So, we'll like switch in between this and the inflate tool. See where you've pulled that out, and you now want to fill back in rather than clay and building it up with with the way that you, you, you do a lot. You just build it up with by like inflating the area that you want. You can smooth it down. enough of the employee tool. Let's go back to, oh, in fact no I'll just go back to clay now for a moment. Just add a bit into clay. Of something to to use the move to on first of all.
double negative there with a double click. Go red. So we're not this back a little bit. Just using the trigger on the support hand there with it set to smooth, which is the default. And go back and use the move tool in a moment. Back of the head's a mess, isn't it? Nice thing to do when you're doing these busts is use just a plane tool to make as much of a mess as you want. Go to settings, stamps, um, there's one in mechanical but you can, you can get one from anywhere, just nice big plane and just negative away what you've done. Great for doing busts and this kind of modeling. felt like it. Um, so back to just the standard brush we'll go uh, let's uh, smooth that off. We'll go back and use I'll put a bit a bit of detailing back in now actually um, a tiny bit more and then we'll go back and do our clay. So let's do some surface. So back to settings surface shapes in but in fact it's too early for surface I think let's go back to just by shaping so I'll put a little bit more detail in because I want to do some expressions with this fella so it would be useful to have more more play with. There we go. And then give him some cheeks. Fix that nose a bit. And then this is the bit that wants some nice expressive eyebrows. So that when I use the move tool on them, that'll, that'll be quite nice. crazy with that move tool now. So move. And we can just literally just change this guy however we want that. Notice how there's a little bit of a slowdown once you get if you start going too high resolution or your model gets too big. Um, you're gonna get some delay in the reaction of the move tool but that's depending on your your machine and your um, the size of the model that you're working on. It's just go crazy with it. Again, be careful. See how it's destroyed a lot of the detail. So again, you want to really try and get a lot of this worked out in the low poly. Bigger. 
and you have got the ability to do active layers or single layer but at the moment I obviously don't have anything on any other layer so it's only on this one and that's fundamentally changed the look of this guy straight away let's pull him right back at the back as well and then even bigger I think again look look how much um, you may have damaged um, the work you've done underneath so again be be mindful that of that when you're when you're starting to work with it to so make sure you don't do a lot of work and then lose it Crazy with him on the back, actually. Starting to fracture these edges a bit here, and that's where I would suggest going back in. using the inflate tool if you've lost too much volume. Just keep going. Okay, and then back. Let's go back to clay for a while. Put some back of that detail and put some more detail that I like on that. careful from now on to what the amount of move that I would do once I've got the once I've got the detail established. It's kind of turned into a bit of a moosey face, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna start these with no idea what I'm gonna do, so it's nice to see an evolution. And if a nice creature or character falls out of it then we've got a win really. Um, I love that with me in there. It's one of the reasons I first fell in love with the bush really is that ability to just be able to get your ideas out without worry about any technical considerations. Um, which what which is where the power comes with these kind of programs I think. that inflate because we definitely did a lot of damage with that move to the last time so let's get some volume back into these areas I definitely think inflate's an underused tool in, in medium it's not something I use in a lot a lot really in other packages but I found with voxels, um, I think it's it's actually quite useful, and it's great to cross over things. So if you want to pinch that that cheek against that neck there, or fill that volume, rather than just look at that hole there, we don't want that. Look at that, that's nice. bit more in here. Yeah, he's cool. Now we'll go back with the move tool again and we'll see if we can be a bit more careful this time and not do too much damage. 
that's where you can make him fatter and chunkier under the, these areas. Yeah, so that's worked better this time. Getting a bit crazy now around the edges. this down here and then we'll add some volume once more bit of smooth bit of volume use this amazing ability to grab it and twist it so you're grabbing with the trigger and twisting with your hand and that really gives you some nice effects doesn't he? I think we'll stick with the moose idea. So let's come off symmetry now for a while. So off with the with the mirror. Let's make him a bit smaller with a huge brush. Let's just, just do some really sweeping changes to him. What I quite often do with, with models of this type is I would chop the head off um, the neck, but with the move tool now, I don't need to do as much of that. As I've found, as long as you're careful um, and you're using a big brush, the posing is quite easy. Bring it out the back a little bit. Not too much. And I've skewed him off to the side, as you can see. And we'll do one eyebrow down, one eyebrow up. So we'll make him quite quizzical. Symmetry gives some life to the character or the creature. And look how I'm tucking stuff underneath with the move tool, that's nice. Let's go back and let us add the clay. bits of muscle in where is the eyebrows change you might want to give him a bit back So that's the uh, that's a quick go with the with the move tool. Bit of damage there, actually. I didn't notice. And what we'll do is we'll take this creature a little bit further um, and do something with him next. Um, but that's a good example of of, of the move tool. Um, pl plenty of options in there, um, and and just just a useful addition that's been, that's been 
that we've been crying out for, really.